I'm Michael Tiller, a member of the Institution of Civil Engineers, standing here on Newcastle Quayside. On the other side of the river, of course, is Gateshead, and here on, we're standing on the Newcastle side. People in Newcastle quite often say that there's only one other place in the, in the United Kingdom, or perhaps the world, that students of civil engineering could go to and see an example of all the various forms of bridges. And of course, that place is Gateshead, of course. Newcastle and Gateshead are two separate towns and cities, but of course, the, the, there is a huge need for connection across this important river, and people commute either way across the river every day. These bridges form an important part of our infrastructure. The Industrial Revolution in the 19th century increased the need for cross-river traffic. And of course, the coming of the railways meant that low-level crossings of the River Tyne across the gorge wasn't possible. The Tyne Gorge, which has steep banks on either side, had to be crossed at a high level. And now we have seven bridges, only two of which are at a lower level, and the remaining five are at a high level. Immediately behind me, you can see the Tyne Bridge, probably the icon of Tyneside. It uh, carries, current carries about 50,000 vehicles a day, and uh, it's the, the main north-south road link in the area. But of course, perhaps the most iconic image that we see every year is when 57,000 people leave on the Great North Run, leave, leave Newcastle on their way to South Shields and cross the Tyne Bridge. And the photographs of the red arrows flying across the bridge with some of the 57,000 people on the bridge is an iconic image that is sent all over the world. The Tyne Bridge was opened in 1928, but in 1927, when Dorman Long were working on the design of the bridge, Dorothy Buchanan was engaged by the company and she became the first female engineer of the Institution of Civil Engineers. Further in the background, of course, you can see the, the new kid on the block, the Gateshead Millennium Bridge. It was arrived here uh, in the year 2000, it opened in the year 2003 when Her Majesty the Queen came and opened the bridge. The uh, engineer for the, the bridge, the contractor, at the time that the bridge was brought up the river, was asked a question, where on earth could his, his career in civil engineering go? He was never ever going to get a, another iconic structure like this to, to build. And of course he said, well I know exactly where I'm going. He said, I'm going to build a sewage disposal works in Yorkshire. Probably as important to people's lives as the Gateshead Millennium Bridge nevertheless. Immediately in front of me is the Swing Bridge, opened in 1862. It was engineered by Sir William Armstrong, the great industrialist. He's often referred to as the man who made water works, and it is in fact hydraulically operated. It was quite clever in so far that he, he put a, one of his ships, big warships, turntable gun turrets in the centre of the river, Instead of putting a gun on it, he put a, a bridge on it. It swings 360 degrees to allow ships to go up and down the river. Further upstream, we have Robert Stevenson's high-level bridge, which carries rail traffic on the top and road traffic uh, underneath. It's one of the innovative structures that Robert Stevenson devised over his lifetime. The decline of industry in this area towards the latter part of the, the 20th century uh, identified the need for redevelopment and of course engineers were in the forefront of that, that development. The area has now become very much a tourist destination and an arts and cultural centre. These bridges have been graced by royal patronage. Majority of them have, have been opened by members of the royal family but there's been some very, very important engineers that have been involved with these bridges, from past president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, Robert Stevenson, Sir William Armstrong. But that continues today, in so far that the recent bridge, the Gateshead Millennium Bridge, 
involved new uh, engineers involved very much in the, 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 the 20th and 21st century and we certainly need more and more engineers to continue on the success of what the engineers have done in the past.